Hi and welcome to this week's video and the title of this week's video is Managing High Sensitivity and so this video is for anybody who is high sensitive and is struggling to manage their high sensitivity and is struggling with being a high sensitive. It's also the technique that I'm going to talk about, it's also really useful for anybody who's experiencing anxiety, low confidence, um, not feeling good enough and generally feeling a little bit lost and lonely in the world. So let's get started. So the first and most important thing that I ever learned when I was discovered that I was a high sensitive and I don't remember where the technique comes from. I've kind of, um, I know I read about this technique but then I've kind of added something onto the end of it which is from somewhere else and, it, and it's all kind of like a mashup of a, um, of a range of techniques. So I'm, I'm not laying claim to making this up. This is from somewhere else. I just don't remember where. Um, when I first learned to do this technique, uh, it was really profound. And it involves knowing that you don't have to take on other people's moods and energies and feelings. So I just thought that, well, I'm really sensitive. I'm going to have to feel other people's feelings for the rest of my life. Um, and when I realized that I could choose whether or not I took on somebody's energy and somebody else's feelings then that was like a massively profound experience for me and I was just blown away. So the technique that I use is something really simple and it's an intention based practice. So you intend to do something, there's not, you know it's something that you say. So when I am moving throughout my day and I feel my energy change because I'm somewhere different or because I'm around somebody different and they, affect, they or that is affecting my energy, I simply say to myself, this is not my energy. I let it go and I visualize the energy as a solid object, either within or without, outside, within my body or outside my body and I push it down. I get rid of it by pushing it down through my legs, through my feet and into the ground. Sometimes, excuse me, sometimes I give the energy back. Um, other times I don't know where it's come from. So for example, sometimes I'll go somewhere um, something like a hospital or a doctor's and there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of worry, there's a lot of you know people who uh, don't want to be there. And I don't always know whose energy that is, so I can't give it back. So I, I, that's a, a situation where I would push that energy down into the ground and just go, this is not, I don't feel like this. I'm all right being at the doctors, I'm fine. You know, it's routine for me. <laughs> um, not routine to go, I don't mean it's routine for me to go to doctors. I mean, it's just, I'm not scared of being there. Um, so yeah, yeah, just push the energy down into the ground um, and, and accept that it's not mine and I don't have to hold on to it. I don't have to keep hold of it and I just push it down. If it's a particular person that's making me feel that way, um, you know, because of how they're feeling and I'm absorbing that and I'm taking it on, I've been caught out by somebody, um, then I will I sometimes give it back or just, you know, say, this is not my energy, I let it go and let it go back to the person or I push it down into the ground so I visualize it as something and then push it down into the ground and um, yeah it's a really simple exercise but it's really profound and, and I, might make, I might do it three or four times each day um, depending on where I am and it is exhausting and it takes a lot of discipline um, maybe that's why I choose to be at home <laughs> all the time as much as possible um, but yeah, seriously, I, you know, if I've got a busy day, I may do it three or four times and it does take a lot of effort, but just knowing that I don't have to take on every single person's emotions and every single situation's energy, it, it's like amazing, like awesome, this is fantastic. So hopefully... And it was so profound for me. Hopefully that little smidgen of information is really profound for you too. And um, as a high sensitive, you can start to monitor 
and then let go of other people and how they make you feel or how different situations make you feel and just see how you get on. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear any questions or comments. If you'd like to connect over social media, then you can find me on Instagram, Catherine underscore Pearson underscore or Facebook, Catherine Pearson. Um, and yeah, I hope to um, see you or hear from you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.